So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Prusa printer. It's really important to keep the firmware updated because, you know, firmware updates contain patches and sometimes even new features. And ultimately it just gives you better print quality and a better product overall. So let's have a look at that. Okay guys, so one of the first things you want to do is check what firmware version you're actually running. And you can do this by just pressing once on the button. At the very bottom of the menu, you'll see support. So you want to click that. And there you'll be able to see what firmware version you have. I'm on 3.5.1. I believe the latest at the moment is 3.6. So I'll be showing me upgrading my printer to 3.6 and you can do the same. So in order to upgrade your printer, you're going to need a USB cable and your printer should have come with a cable like this. It's a USB type B. If you've got one lying around, anyone will work, but you will need this cable to upgrade the firmware. So at the back of the printer where the main board is, you'll see this USB socket and this is where we connect the cable to upgrade the firmware. You'll then need to connect the cable to your computer where we'll flash the printer. Okay, so in order to flash firmware onto the printer, what we're gonna use is Slicer Prusa Edition. And if you haven't got this, you can go to prusa3d.com forward slash drivers. I'll put a link below and you can download all the relevant software for your printer. So when you get on the website, find your printer, you know, use the latest Mark 3S, the Mark 3, the Mark 2.5S. So find which one you've got. And for a uh, Slicer Prusa Edition, you'll want this download drivers and apps. So you can download the drivers and apps and it comes with all the tools you need. Once you've installed all that, now we want to focus on getting the firmware. So again, locate the correct printer. In my case, I'm looking for the Mark III and you will see a firmware section and it says here that the latest release is version 3.6. So we want to hit the download button and that'll download to our computer and you want to unzip the file and then open up Slicer Prusa Edition. So when you're in Slicer Prusa Edition, there are some, um, on the toolbar at the top, there are some options. We want to click Configuration and Flash Printer Firmware. And this will bring up a little uh, window. Now, where it says Serial Port, if you've, just, if you've already got your printer plugged in, this will automatically detect which COM port it's on. If it's not showing up, click Rescan. Uh, if it's still not showing up, try a different USB port. But what we want to do now is under firmware image, you want to click browse. And we want to locate the file that we've just downloaded. So in my case, it's the Prusa 3D 3.6. And inside there, there'll be a hex file. And this is the firmware file. So you want to select that and click open. Now once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to flash and there's a flash button here and you want to click that. And now you'll see flashing in progress. You might hear your printer, the fans on your printer kind of kick up a bit and make a lot of noise. That's completely normal. So we're just going to wait for that to finish and then we'll check that it flashed correctly on the printer. Okay, so after flashing the printer using Slicer Prusa Edition, we can now come back to the printer and we can check to see if it did actually flash. So again, we want to click once, scroll down to the bottom, click support, and we can now see that we are running firmware version 3.6. And that's it. It's quite simple, nice and straightforward. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. Hopefully you were able to follow all the steps that I've been through. If you had any trouble, as I said, leave a comment below. Maybe you can help somebody else out or somebody can help you out. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate this since it helps my channel grow and I put a lot of effort into making these videos. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that, but it's up to you. That's about it from me. I hope you all have an awesome day. Take it easy.